guys welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel please make sure to subscribe and follow me on all my social medias all the links are on the description box down below so please check that out in today's video I'm going to show you how to do clip-on hair extensions this um, video wasn't actually planned I was doing my own clip-on extension and I thought it's really good so I thought I'll share with you so the reason I wanted to do my own clip-on hair extensions is because I have used clip-on hair extensions in the past I was using this uh, clip-on hair extension which is synthetic the problem with this is that it gets tangled very very easily um, like if you're doing plaits with it like it's a mess trust me like it's no good then I purchased this hair extensions which is a real hair I don't remember where I got it from but this is good it doesn't get tangled that much compared to the synthetic one however if you see on the top it has a little bit of volume at the bottom it's like a rat tail there's no you just it's no good so I wasn't happy with it so I was just browsing the internet and I and a few of my friends recommended this company uh, for hair extensions most of the Asian bridal uh, makeup artists uh, they uh, tend to recommend that company as well I'm not going to mention their name um, so I went on their website and I checked some clip-on hair extensions that matches my hair color and the length however the price was mad um, they asked me to pay 250 pounds which I wasn't going to pay if I can make something and save money why would I want to just you know give my money away for something that I can already make at home uh, so I decided to do some research so I checked on YouTube and internet to see if someone else has done um, hair extensions uh, the clip-on ones um, and I actually couldn't find any I did see few of the wigs like the complete head ones whereas I wanted just the single clip on hair extensions I couldn't actually find so I decided to trial and test it so I went to Venison's and I bought some hair this hair extensions in Tamil it's called Javri Mudi um, they actually charged me three pounds only I'm not too sure whether this is real hair or synthetic uh, but it doesn't it doesn't look like um, it's gonna get tangled it's nice and straight and it has quite a decent amount of volume so I thought it's only three pounds I'm gonna make it myself so yeah I've already made a few of them I'll just show you so that's my own hair extensions guys this took less than five minutes to make I promise so all you're going to do is that there's the clip ticks I'm just gonna plug it randomly just to show you guys that it works here it is your own clip-on hair extensions so I'm going to show you how to do this clip-on hair extension so please keep on watching so the things that you're going to need to make this clip-on hair extensions are some hairs of course it can be a synthetic hair or it can be a real human hair that's completely up to you next you're going to need some super glue next you're going to need some clips to saw the hair extensions this clip uh, I actually took it off from the synthetic hair extensions um, but I'm sure you can buy this separately on eBay and you're going to need some black cloth it can be any material um, cotton silk it doesn't really matter as long as it matches your hair color it's fine you're going to need a thread and needle you're also going to need some small hair bands and a scissor so let's get started so like I said before um, I've actually used these two sides of the hair because I've done some already so now I've probably just need two or three more so depending on the volume um, that you want um, separate some hair so I'm probably just going to need that much to make one clip on hair extensions so before cutting this hair off put a rubber band I got this wedding to attend in Holland um, that's why I wanted to get hair extensions but I, I didn't actually realize that they charge so much and you're gonna have to tie this uh, band really tight so that when you cut the hairs off um, it should all stay together excuse my nails guys I didn't get time to apply nail varnish so I've got my hair band here um, and I'm going to cut this off never cut it closer to the hair band always leave some space and cut it there and now I'm just gonna trim the ends so leave that to one side next I'm going to take this hair clip and put this on top of the black 
material and I'm going to make sure that it fits both the sides so that you can sew it at the end and I'm going to cut this off. It doesn't have to be perfect guys because this is going to hide under your hair anyways. As long as the uh, material fits the hair clips on both the end of the uh, edges of the clips is fine. So now we're going to put the clips on one side. Now I'm going to take this uh, material, lay the um, material flat on the surface. I'm going to take the super glue and on the other hand I'm also going to keep the hair extensions ready and I'm going to put some um, super glue on the cloth and also on the hair extensions and I'm just going to stick them together and now on the sides just apply enough hair extend, um, super glue and because it's super glue because it's a um, cloth don't leave it flat on the table for too long otherwise it's going to end up sticking to the table so lift it up before it dries and work with it while keeping it on your hands so now I'm just going to apply some more glues on top of the hairs because you want the, all the hairs to stick together, not just at the back. Don't be stingy with the glue guys because you want the hairs to stick together. If you don't apply enough super glue, your hair is going to start coming off from this end. What I tend to also do is put the super glue in randomly in the middle and I just squeeze some glues out and then press it together okay there's enough super glue on it so now i've i've got the glue on um, i'm going to leave this to dry for 15 to 20 minutes and i'll show you the next step now it's been about 15 to 20 minutes the glue is completely dry now um, the next step is to trim all the he excess hair that you that's popping out there we go so i'm happy with this so the next step is we're going to put the material side not the hair side the material put it flat on the hair clip and we're going to sew both the ends make sure to tie it really tight guys because you don't want the clips to fall off from the hair extensions because that will be very embarrassing imagine you're dancing and your clip on falls out just make sure it's nice and tight now I'm going to sew the other end of the clips so now I, we've tied both the ends of the clips you're going to take this hairband off so that's basically it guys you've got your own hair extensions ready so that is it guys i've got one two three five of my own hair extensions it wasn't even hard um, it's not going to cost you more than 10 pounds to make this um, hair extensions whereas if you're going to buy you're going to spend a lot so i've already done five i'm going to go ahead and make some more and uh, at the end uh, of the hair i'm probably going to cut into a u shape or whatever shape that i prefer so yeah that's basically it so i really really hope this video was useful uh, so please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also share this video to your family and friends because not a lot of people know that you can make your own hair extension i didn't know until i gave it a go because i thought it's a lot hard to make your own clip on hair extensions extension so please make sure to share with your family and friends so that's it today i'll see you in the next one bye